welcome back to my canal. If you guys are new here, welcome. My name is Diana. And for today's video, we're going to be doing an eyeshadow challenge, meaning that I have cut little pieces of paper, which they're all here, all 35, I think it's 35, yes, 35 eyeshadows. And the palette that I'm going to be using today is the Jaclyn Hill Volume 2 palette, which has 32 shades. Um, not shades, but eyeshadows. Um, and with this, we're going to be creating a look. So I really don't know what this look is going to look like. I have no idea. So I thought this was going to be a very fun video to film. Only because this is just going with the flow. Miracle, so I'm, oh, I'm losing one. Basically going to go ahead and be picking out some. And depending on the number that I get, I'm going to go in my eyeshadow palette. And of course, since we read from left to right, this will be my number one and so far on. So it's going to kind of be doing like a snake. So one and then going here and here and so far on. If you guys want to know what we create together, then keep on watching. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe if you guys haven't already and also hit the notification bell that way you guys are notified every single time that i upload a video so let's get started so the first thing that we're going to be using is our morphe c 0.00 concealer um this is just so our eyeshadows are really vibrant very bold and it pops you know what i mean so i'm going to go ahead and apply this over my crease Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start blending this out. Alright, so here comes the fun part. I'm so excited. I'm kind of nervous because what if it's like really random colors, but I feel like with the Jaclyn Hill palette, you can't go wrong. So, I'm just going to hope for that. So I'm going to go ahead and get my first number. I hope it's a good transition color. Okay. So I'm going to go in here. Okay. I got number two. So that's number two. We're going to go in our palette. And okay. Okay. So it's shimmer which is this one here. So, so I'm gonna apply that. Um, don't know exactly when I'm gonna apply that, but I'm gonna apply it. I'm just gonna go in and see what it comes. So I'm just gonna, I think, so I'm gonna apply this in my brow bone. So just like so. So this one appears um, white but when you apply it gives you like that purple holographic look I feel like I'm doing like a backwards eyeshadow look I'm gonna pluck it once again and give it a good shake so you guys don't think I'm cheating but a good shake 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 okay. I'm so nervous okay I got one <sighs> Okay, I got number one. I see you guys can see there. Number one. I'm gonna go with number one, which is this kind of ivory pure white color here, or off white. And I'm just gonna apply this all over my lid. Alrighty. So that was one and two. Okay, so I'm gonna go back. Okay. All right, okay, so I got number 20. So I'm gonna go in my eyeshadow palette and count to 20. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So I'm going in with Heart On, which is this color right here. Um, okay, it's very bold, but we can make it work. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on my crease. So. 
The good thing with these um, eyeshadows by Morphe and this collab with Jaclyn Hill is that they are so buildable. Like you can start very, very slowly like I did and then start packing it on. That way you don't end up with a very bold, bold transition color and cannot blend it. But these eyeshadows blend so nicely. So just saying. I think I'm gonna do like six, I don't know, I think I was thinking like six numbers, but the first two numbers were so light so that kind of defeats the purpose there. So I'm probably gonna do a couple more. I'm so excited how the final look is gonna look. Is it gonna be a disaster or is it gonna look so nice? I don't know. But fingers crossed that this look comes together. All right, now I'm gonna go back and get another number. Okay. I got number, I got number nine, which is this one here. All right, it's gonna be a lot of counting, guys. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I have nine, which is this kind of gold rush color, like almost like a 24K gold eyeshadow. And I'm gonna just apply it right in the center. I feel like I'm doing everything so backwards like usually I start from the outer portion of my eye towards the inner and right now I'm starting from my inner to my outer so I'm like very confused so that's the fun part about this eyeshadow challenge is that you don't know what shade you're gonna get so you kind of are able to place it wherever you want okay that's a cute little color there I don't know if the camera is picking up on that gold eyeshadow, but I'm gonna wet my brush and apply it. Let's go in and get another number. bad boy out I got number 12 so you guys can see there that is number 12 so let's go in the palette so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 oh okay so we got another glitter eyeshadow which is this one right here and the name is get ready with smaller brush and I'm gonna put that uh, like right here in the center but I am gonna wet it with some fix plus I hope I don't get another um, shimmer shadow so I'm placing it basically right in the center of my eyelid oh you guys can see and I'm using patty motions to apply that glitter eyeshadow I'm definitely working. Okay, perfect. All right, so I did get one. All right, the next color is gonna be number 32. So, back to counting we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. We have another shimmer shadow which is this one here. It looks like a purplish um, glitter, like a very violet color. I think I'm getting set for a disaster makeup challenge here. I'm gonna apply that purple right in my crease, like right here. Um, so let's get some eyeshadow. Apply it right there. Oh my God, I feel like <laughs> this is a disaster. I feel like all my eyeshadows are going to end up blending together, um, but I don't know, let me guys, let me know if you guys have ever put a shimmer eyeshadow in your crease. I have never done it. I don't think it's probably like a halo eye look that I would do and you know you'll put your shimmer and it kind of goes to your towards your crease, 
but never have I ever put a shimmer eyeshadow on my crease. So, okay, please give me a matte, a matte eyeshadow, please. Please give me a matte eyeshadow. Please give me a matte eyeshadow. Please give me a matte eyeshadow. Okay. Number 20, oh, number 28. So, okay, finally, a matte eyeshadow. So we're gonna go with this hot pink here. Um, and this is Dance a Potty. It's definitely a very, very pretty color. Right here, let's see. With a little bit more of a blending brush, but very pointed. And get that color. And apply that here. And blend it towards my crease. This eyeshadow palette is so pretty. Like you can do so many looks. Like so, so many looks. If you guys see me looking down a lot, it's just because I have my mirror here and I can see better. You know what I mean? I don't know, but I can't do little mirrors. I feel like I'm missing like I need to see my whole face I don't know if it's just me but definitely let me know in the comments down below if you guys need to use a big mirror or a little mirror to do your eyeshadows I I just can't do like I can't do little mirrors I don't know I feel like really weird okay. so back again here we go let's see so now the number that we have is 20, what did I say? 28? 29 is the number that I have now. It's gonna be this nice purple I used earlier with Dance Party. So I'm gonna grab a good bit and I'm gonna really apply this to my outer portion of my eye. Alrighty, so I'm gonna go in with my just like a blending brush and blend everything together a little bit more nicely So I'm gonna pick two more eyeshadow numbers and that is gonna be it for my eye look so let's see Okay, give it a good twirl All right, here I go So I got no got one there Okay, so the number I got is 17. I right. got Positive T, which is this kind of like an, uh, like a neon orange, but like a very soft matte neon orange, um, which is this one here. All right, so I'm gonna go with Positive T and I'm gonna put it in my inner corner. So I'm gonna get a good bit. We'll see if we make it or break it. So, all right, one last color, and that is gonna be it. All right, so the number that we this is our finale number, and I hope it's not a number that is gonna kill this look because I feel like I really tried, but, anyways, <sighs> wait, I think there's 35, so seven. 14, 21, 28. Obviously, this is not gonna count because there's not a 36. So, I don't know what I was thinking there. So we're gonna draw again in here and get a number. So this is the last number. Here it is. So I got number 22. Oh! <laughs> okay, fine. It's just gonna be an a shimmer eyeshadow look it is 
So, okay, so 7, 14, 21, 22, which is this purple color. So where am I gonna put this other glitter? I feel like the gold is lost with all this pink. I don't wanna put it in the inner corner. I feel like it's gonna give me more of a pop. But at the same time, I'm not sure. Actually, I'm gonna put this in my crease. Screw it, we're doing it. So I'm gonna put it right here as well. It's like they're all blending. Oh, jeez. I'm gonna go ahead and do a liner with this look <laughs> because it's and it definitely needs a liner. I can't believe we got basically all shimmers. Like, why? I didn't place my e.l.f. Um, little guide here. Um, liner that I did use was the Tarte Tardis Eyeliner Dual, which is a pencil in one side, a gel pencil, and then a um, liquid eyeliner in the other end. And I actually like this a lot. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and clean underneath. That way I don't have any glitter all over my lower lash. Oh my god, don't you hate it when you get mosquito bites in your face? It's like the worst. Literally the worst. <laughs> but it is nature. So I did pop my lashes on already. And this is how it looks. So now I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of my face. And then I'll be right back. Alright guys, so I have finished my face completely um, and I did apply some lipstick as well. So I'm going to go and kind of connect everything together in my lower lash. So I'm going to go back and use the same colors that we used. Um, I kind of want this kind of like a flat brush. And so let's kind of retrace down memory lane and see the colors that we use. So I did use Heart On. So I'm going to go ahead and use that color together. I'm going to go in with a Dance Party, which was that kind of like pinkish purple look. And say using the same brush portion of my eye Whoop. all right and then the last shade that we're going to be using is that purple look which is stay stay true and I'm gonna that I'm just gonna focus it up in the outer corner I'm gonna go in with that A Moment, which was the glittery purple look. So right here. I am gonna cheat a little bit, because I do want to apply a little bit of that gold again to my lid. So I'm just gonna tweak the challenge just a little bit. So I am gonna go in with that gold color once again. Still using the same colors though, so technically we're still doing the challenge pretty well. I know you guys are probably like, oh, hey man, that's not part of the challenge. But honestly, it kinda is. I'm still using the same colors. <laughs> Alright. So I'm going to go ahead and set my face in place and I'm going to be using the MAC Fix Plus. All 
Alright guys, so that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, um, this whole makeup eye travel challenge. And if you guys did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't because it will definitely help me a lot. And also hit that notification bell. That way you guys can be notified every single time that I upload a video to my channel. And that is it for today. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. So till then, my friends. Bye guys.